Hey guys, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. My name is India and in today's video, we are doing fruit only. We will be doing fruit only for two days. I am actually looking very forward to this. Y'all know how I do. There is no structure in my diet. So I decided to do this last minute. I said, you know what? My week is a little off, you know, for the past three days, I've been over my calories. So I figure if I can just commit to doing this, anytime I make a commitment to doing something, I always get it done. And so, yeah, I wanted to commit myself to two days, fruit only, two days is enough. I'm not doing three days, I'm not doing a week. I'm not even gonna call it a fast at this point, but I did want to insert just a little challenge just to make sure that these next two days are gonna be successful. And so if I'm being honest, this is in line with doing what works for you, learning yourself. You know, I've been on this journey for so long. So me doing something like committing and saying out loud that I'm going to do a fruit fast or I'm going to do anything, it just helps me get it done. It helps me achieve what I am putting out to achieve. And so that's just something about me. I'm like that. I don't know why I'm like that, but just me making this intro, me making this video, and me really just putting my mind and setting my mind to doing it, it's gonna help me get it done. Otherwise, I'll be eating at night, snacking, eating all off plan, and so I just need this for now. I need to balance out my week. Again, like I said, my week has been, I don't know, you know, so I just need to balance it out. I need to do a little better, and there we have it. Okay, real quick, a few reasons why I'm actually doing this, okay? So I wanted to make today a zero point food day, a WW zero points day, but I have some avocado that I wanna get rid of. And so I'm like, avocado is not a zero point food on the Weight Watchers plan. And so I'm like, okay, I can't do that. Maybe I'll save that for another day. And um, yeah, I just need, I've been eating a lot of meat lately. I do have meatless goals for the year, so I'm not vegetarian, I'm not plant-based, but I will say most of the time I am eating either a plant-based or a vegetarian diet, and I've been eating a lot of meat, so I just need to balance that out and have some meatless days, have some plant-based days. You know, it's all about balance. You really don't have to be perfect while you're on your journey. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I had some avocado I wanted to get rid of. I have a lot of bananas that I need to eat. And so we're just gonna do a fruit fast. We're gonna make it a fruit only day. All right, come on now, come on girl. We are gonna get day one rolling. We're gonna prep our food. We're gonna eat our food and I will see you on day two. Look at this meal, y'all. Get into it, get into it. And I'm gonna give you a calorie breakdown of what I have. Uh, be reminded that I am doing only one meal today, so this is gonna be a lot. I eat for volume, I eat really big portions. And so we got blueberries, avocado, we got an apple over there, we got some green grapes, some bananas, some mandarin oranges, and we have some cherry tomatoes. So let's start over here with this big bowl. Um, that's about 429 grams of banana. That's 382 calories, 315 grams of green grapes. That's about 218 calories. We have an apple. I weighed that. That's 94 calories. One thing about me, I'm serious about my calories and weighing my food. This avocado, avocados are so high in fat, so it's going to be high in calories. It's about 305 grams, and that's 488 calories. This is the highest calorie thing on my meal on my meal plan for today and then we have these blueberries over here this is about 274 grams for 157 calories the cherry tomatoes are 83 calories and these mandarin oranges are 130 calories so all in all everything you see in this clip is 1,552 calories. And so I'm not really eating in a deficit today. If you include all the food, which is around 1,500, plus my coffee, which is a little over 200 calories, we're right at maintenance. And so this is what I have. Let's sit down and let's get into it. All right, y'all, so let's talk about weight real quick. I was debating and I didn't 
want to talk about weight, but this is something that I want to get into. I want to bust some myths real quick. Okay, so I will say um, three weeks ago, maybe going on a month now, I did like a seven-day challenge. I did my cabbage soup diet, which I did that for three days, and then that went into me doing zero-point foods only. And the combination of the cabbage soup and the WW zero point foods, I did that for seven days straight. My start weight at the beginning of that challenge was 136.6 pounds. After, um, I'm sorry, on the sixth day of that challenge, so I didn't weigh myself at the end, but on the sixth day, I believe I got down to 129 pounds, okay? That was a significant weight loss. And so the problem is a lot of people think that when you're doing these challenges, whether, you, whether you're doing a water fast, a fruit fast, or whatever you're doing, a lot of people think that you're just going to instantly put all the weight back on. And so here's the thing with that. You want you will not put the weight back on if you maintain some kind of calorie deficit. So you can't do a fruit fast, do that for seven days, and then go back to eating fast food six times a day. Of course, you're going to put the weight back on because you're going to be in a caloric surplus. A lot of people don't realize how many calories they're actually taking in. So I just got off the scale. Um, and I said, I'm going to start weighing in more just to see where I am, to see if I was able to maintain that weight loss. My current weight is 128.2 pounds. And so not only did I maintain that weight, but I have lost additional weight. And like I said, the past three days, I've been kind of eating over my calories. And so this is why I want to get something in here to where I'm eating something nutrient or, you know, something. And I'm not falling completely out for the entire week. And so... There you have it. As long as you're careful and you go into a plan once you finish your fast or your cleanse, you should be fine. Um, so if you've done the fruit fast before, if you've done this before, leave me a comment. Let me know. I am about to devour this. I will see you tomorrow. All right, it is day two, final stretch, my final day. Again, I'm only doing two days of this. I am at the grocery store. Um, I might pick up a few items for myself. I'm really here to get groceries for my family so I can cook their dinner for tonight. Uh, but I might pick up something. I really want to try a different fruit. I just want something different. But more than likely, my plate tonight, my one meal, I'm only doing one meal again, is going to look similar to the one from yesterday as well. So I'm going to head into this grocery store real quick. Y'all, how I'm feeling. Let me... Mm, how, how am I going to put this? Fruit will clean you out. If you're doing this for a cleanse, for weight loss, detox, whatever you will get cleared out so that's that's good news i yeah 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 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into the grocery store uh after i get from the store i'm gonna go home i am gonna be stepping on that scale i will step on the scale just to see if there's any weight changes i'm not getting on the scale tomorrow i, I don't feel like um weighing myself after this is over so I'll just get on the scale just to see if there's any progress um, I'm pretty sure there is I feel like there is these fruit fasts are so effective like it's so effective so I love doing these but I'm gonna head in here guys and I will see you later in the day <laughs> Girl, 
I just got off the scale. Let's go ahead and talk about this, y'all. I am currently at 126.4 pounds, 126.4. That is my lowest recorded weight. That is a new milestone, actually. And this is after only doing this for one day. And so I'm not weighing in tomorrow. I'm pretty sure once I break my fast tomorrow, I'm suspecting that my weight's gonna be even lower. But I'm not worried about it. I'm really happy with that number. Um, not that weight loss is the goal, but I'm maintaining. So that is top tier. But yeah, 126.4. Like, what? <laughs> Ooh, you can't tell me nothing. Y'all, let's go have this meal. Let's go have this meal. I am hungry. It's four o'clock right now. I'm doing one meal for today. I'm gonna eat between four and six. I'm not eating anything after six, so let's do it. Let's get into it. Here is today's meal, the second and final day, y'all. Now, everything that you see in this clip is gonna be around 1,300 calories. The bananas here are 377 calories. The grapes are 207 calories. I have these two big apples. They're pretty big. That's about 174 calories. Um, let's see, this avocado right here, not as much as I had yesterday. This is 284 calories. Uh, this is about 177 grams of avocado. And the strawberries, did I already say this? The strawberries are 158 calories. And then I have these small peaches over here. These are 117 calories. So all in all, this meal totals up to be 1,317 calories. Okay, for my day with my coffee included, I'm at around 1,527 calories. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far in this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Do not be a stranger here. We will love you here. Again, thank you for watching. Good luck on your journeys and I will see you in the next one. Are you so? Tell me what it is. What you want from me? What you want from me? Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't. They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise. Going through a phase, gotta get myself out.